Electric cars are everywhere now, from Teslas to Toyotas, silently cruising our streets. But what about hydrogen cars? Some say they're the real future. So today, let's compare electric versus hydrogen cars and find out which one will truly drive us into a cleaner tomorrow. First, how do they actually work? An electric car runs on a battery that stores electricity. You plug it in, charge it up, and the electric motor converts that stored energy directly into motion, simple and efficient. A hydrogen car, on the other hand, carries tanks of hydrogen gas. Inside, a fuel cell mixes hydrogen with oxygen from the air, creating electricity on the spot, and the only byproduct is pure water vapor. Pretty cool, right? But this difference, battery versus fuel cell, is what makes everything else so different. Here's the catch. Electric cars are way more efficient. If you take 100 units of energy from the grid, about 80% ends up moving the wheels. For hydrogen cars, it's not that simple. You first have to produce hydrogen, usually from water using electricity, which wastes energy. Then you compress it, transport it, and convert it back to electricity inside the car. After all that, only about 30 to 40% of the original energy moves the wheels. So, in pure efficiency, electric wins hands down. But hydrogen fights back in speed and range. Charging an electric car can take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours, depending on your charger. Hydrogen, just three to five minutes, like a regular gas stop. And since hydrogen is more energy dense, hydrogen cars can go 600 to 700 kilometers on a single fill, while most EVs still hover around 400 to 500 kilometers. So if you hate waiting, hydrogen takes the lead. Here's the big roadblock, infrastructure. Electric chargers are popping up everywhere, even at shopping malls and homes. But hydrogen stations? Only a few hundred exist globally, mostly in Japan, South Korea, and parts of California and Germany. And building one hydrogen station can cost millions of dollars. Meanwhile, battery prices keep falling fast, which makes electric cars cheaper every year. So who wins? For now, electric cars dominate roads. They're cheaper, more efficient, and the tech keeps improving. But hydrogen isn't dead. It can power trucks, buses, ships, even airplanes, where quick refueling and long range matter most. Maybe the future isn't a fight between them, but a partnership. Electric for the city, hydrogen for the highways and skies. What do you think? Would you drive a hydrogen car? Drop your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay curious. This is Think First.